22 July 2020, and today I've got an update on the situation in the MDCT led by the acting president, Dr. Tokozani Kupe. Yesterday, I told you that 16 MPs and senators that were recalled, including Tapita Kumalo, had been replaced. And I promised that at 2 p.m. yesterday, the list of names was probably going to be released during the press conference at Harvest House by uh, Kalipani Pugeni. However, that list never came. And it is now a closely guarded national secret. No one has got that list of the MPs that were replaced. And I can confirm that there is chaos within the MDCT because of those replacements. There is people crying, saying that there's a lot of favoritism in the selection of those people that replaced the recalled MPs and it's causing further division between the faction of Douglas Monzora and the faction of Dr. Tokozani Kupe. As I explained to you last month, there are four factions within the MDCT and these factions arose because of the Supreme Court judgment. So definitely a big problem is brewing. The faction of Douglas Monzora feel sidelined and they feel that Tokuzan Kupe has appointed their own people from Mulawai only. And in fact, there's one guy from National and West that has been appointed and they're crying that why did she appoint all these other people and not do a fair process? So this is where the situation is now. The list is now being kept secret. No one has publicly revealed that list. But we know, of course, the people that I told you yesterday and the one guy from National and West, I think it's called Denga, I'm not sure, He's going to be one of the people that is going to replace the recalled MPs and senators. So that's the first thing I wanted to tell you. Chaos within the MDCT, the, the faction of Douglas Monzora feeling sidelined, and Tokozani Kupe has ran away with the whole list. She has given her own people the positions. She has replaced her own people into those positions for recalled MPs. Now I want to go to the court case I told you about yesterday. Yesterday, there was a court case of nine proportional representative senators. They went to court and said they should not be replaced, they should not be recalled. That court case happened yesterday, and the court case was weak. The, the, the Chamisa side presented a very, very weak case. The judgment is on Friday, so I expect these guys to lose. There's no reason why they should win with such a weak case. Their case being that the MDC alliance is different from the MDC alliance of Morgan Changarai, which I thought was very, very weak. So that is to do with the court case. Now let's go to the issue of Congress. Is the Congress going to happen on the 31st of July or not? The group or the MDCT led by Dr. Tokozani Kupe is going to be approaching the Supreme Court, I think today or tomorrow, to ask for a variation of the order so that it takes into account the fact that there's a coronavirus, the fact that Idim Nangagwa has put in place a ban on all political gatherings. So you are going to see Dr. Tokozani Kupe leading the MDCT for much, much longer. In fact, this could spill up to next year. She could be in charge in the MDCT and people like Monzora, people like Mzuri, people like Komichi, they have to put their ambitions in check. So this is the current situation in the MDCT, and this is my update for today. As soon as I get that list, I'm going to give it to you. But my sources have already revealed to me that it's going to have a lot of people coming from the Bulawayo side. Very few people are also <clears throat> in that list who are coming from other places. So there are com complaints that there's favoritism. How come she appointed all these people? This is the current situation, and this is how it is. Thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this on WhatsApp, send it to as many people as possible. If you're watching this on YouTube and Facebook, please like, comment, and share.